All dogs are not created equal. Some are cute and cuddly, while others are downright scary. Although, some of the times they're misunderstood. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of the scariest dogs that people actually own. Number one came as a genuine surprise to me, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Rottweiler. Bulky and with muscles of steel, the Rottweiler can be a docile creature or a frightful beast, depending on its personality and that of its owner. Originally bred to herd livestock, it was also trained to be the earliest police dog, and of course has almost legendary fame as a guard dog. If being highly aggressive isn't enough, this breed also has a ton of energy. And if Rottweilers don't get enough exercise, they get stir crazy and will try to vent any pent up energy that they have towards other things. This could also translate to attacking without any hesitation. Even highly trained Rottweilers can be dangerous due to their unpredictability, especially if their owner is not around to rein them in. They don't need a lot of encouragement to attack, and that has been proven in the past. A quick YouTube search will give you hundreds of Rottweilers attacks, but be warned, some of those videos aren't very graphic. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. The Doberman Pinscher. Also known as just the Doberman, this breed was bred in Germany and was primarily used as a guard dog given its natural ferocious nature. It is also considered one of the most intelligent breeds out there, not to mention one of the most regal and elegant looking. It's an active breed and greatly excels in many canine sports events. However, they are also fiercely protective, which is the reason why they are included in this list. Coupled with its highly ferocious nature, this breed is also somewhat unpredictable and detecting its mood swings is quite impossible. One minute you're petting it, the next minute it chomps down at your hand. It is an effective guard dog, especially if it grew up isolated without any socialization and will attack intruders or basically any stranger without hesitation. While it is true that a well-trained Doberman is excellent with children, it is highly sensitive and just a bit of roughhousing can get a rise out of it, and given its sheer size will definitely be bad news for anyone who annoys it. Number 8. The Tosa Inu. The Tosa Inu is a Japanese breed that was created for only one thing fighting. So it shouldn't come as a surprise when I say that this dog is as aggressive as they come. Now, a Tosa Inu is not supposed to be aggressive towards people, and yet the athleticism and agility of this breed combined with his immense power means that he must be well-bred, well-socialized, well-trained, and under control at all times. The thing is, a well-bred, trained, and socialized Tosa Inu should still be a dog that you definitely need to be wary about. The Tosa is often described as being stately, quiet, calm, and relaxed until aroused. Now, you probably picture that as meaning a bad guy rushing at your family, and it could mean that, but it could also mean a neighbor's child rushing towards your child to play. They are so aggressive that if you should decide to keep one of these guys as a pet, you shouldn't pair it with any dog of the same sex, or with any other dog, or cats, or with any other animal for that matter. Number 7. The Doggo Argentino. Powerful yet possessive and almost feline grace, the Doggo Argentino is fearless yet sensitive. It is also energetic outdoors and yet calm indoors. Despite his intimidating appearance, the Doggo Argentino is usually friendly, yet is also a vigilant guardian with a thunderous bark. That is, with proper training and socialization. If not, then you've got a big problem on your hands. You see, they have been bred specifically to be hunting dogs and came about by mixing breed primarily used for dogfighting, so you can just imagine how naturally aggressive this dog is going to be. Even a well-trained doggo can pose a problem if not given the proper exercise. They will find a way to use whatever pent-up energy they have, and that usually results in chewed-up couches and upturned trash bins. Strong-willed and independent, but also highly intelligent, the doggo Argentina will only respect an owner who is equally confident and consistent. Number 6. The Dutcher Boxer. The Boxer is a well-built and powerful guard breed, which is the result of the diligent work of German breeders. Apart from being a fierce protector, it's also valued as a brave, lively, affectionate, confident, and totally devoted companion dog. As the previous owner of one of these, I can actually vouch for all those. Currently, it enjoys massive popularity in this role, not only in its native country, but all over the world. But why does the Boxer make it to this list, then? 
The Boxer is an old dog breed, and like with any old dog breed, some of which are included in this list, were bred for very specific tasks. No, not to prance around dog shows and look cute, but for a very real world function, hunting and protection. This dog's bite force can be likened to that of a bull mastiff, probably the strongest dog in the world. And with that massive bite force, this breed was a huge help in bringing down large game. And due to its tenacity and brawny physique, it's not surprising to see one of these dogs hunt and bring down game all by itself, which makes it quite dangerous. Because of its popularity as a household pet, irresponsible breeders are quick to cash in on the large demand, producing ill-bred specimens that are at the opposite ends of the spectrum. Some are quite shy and timid, while some are just ferocious. Be careful when you're getting a boxer as a pet, because like a box of chocolates, you'll never know what you're going to get. Number 5. The Canary Dog Don't let the misleading name of this breed fool you. Many countries ban this breed from entering their territories, much less to be kept as a pet, and they have a very good reason as to why. The Canary Dog is a large and powerful massive-like dog that originated in the Canary Islands. They were primarily kept by farmers and were used to guard cattle and livestock. However, due to the natural strength and ferociousness of this breed, they were also used to hunt and kill wild boars, and even wild feral dogs. They have a relentless tenacity that made them very popular in the illegal dogfighting world, requiring little to no training at all to dispatch would-be opponents quickly and viciously. These characteristics combined make them very excellent guard dogs, but very dangerous to humans as well. That's why you don't see this breed in many countries. They have learned that it's better to be safe than sorry. Number 4. The Boar Bull The Boar Bull, pronounced of course Boar Bull, is a large guardian dog which is also known as the South African Mastiff. An impressive breed, they are one of the most powerful dogs in the world, exerting more than 450 pounds of pressure per square inch when they bite. Just what does that mean though? Well, a lion and great white shark exert around 600 pounds of pressure per square inch. With its size and power, it's easy to think that these guys are highly aggressive. Well, they certainly look the part, but in actuality, they're not all that dangerous. Think of them as oversized puppies. It is unclear where the boar bull first descended from, but it's thought that the Dutch, German, and Huguenot settlers brought large guardian dogs with them to South Africa. The interbreeding of these dogs eventually resulted in what we know as the boar bull dog. Whilst they were originally bred to be guardians and protectors, they are more than happy being family pets too. Despite their size and power, they can actually be incredibly lazy dogs. Probably one of the laziest dog breeds of all time. Number 3. The Chow Chow. Fierce loyalty, and obviously looking like a cute and cuddly kid bear, makes the Chow Chow one of the most popular dog breeds to keep as pets. But what you didn't know was that even the dog experts themselves admit that they are not the perfect pets, especially for households that have children. Your kids are especially vulnerable to this breed when it decides to attack, and believe me, they are not that hard to provoke. The problem with the Chow Chow is that it is both phlegmatic and impatient, and although it does show fierce loyalty to its human family, it has a preference to just one person, the one it considers to be its master. That basically means that a toddler playing with an easily irritable Chow Chow can lead and has already led to disaster. There are many videos online showing how fierce this breed can be. Are you willing to take the risk by bringing one home to your family, though? Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today we're going to be taking a look at a dog breed that has always been misunderstood, but unfortunately with good reason. They are perennially present on any dangerous dog list, which isn't great for their reputation. Granted though, they can still be just the sweetest of little dogs no matter what. Just what breed is it? Number 2. The American Pitbull. A very pugnacious breed, one of the most dangerous dogs banned by many countries in the world is American Pit Bulls. This medium-sized, solidly built, intelligent, short-haired dog whose early ancestors came from the British Isles is one of the most dangerous breeds of dogs in the world. In order to prevent aggressive outbursts, they are required to undergo several extensive training exercises. Or, you know, put them in some pajamas. That ought to work too. The essential characteristics of the American Pit Bull Terriers are strength, confidence, and zest for life. The APBT is not the best choice for a guard dog since they are extremely friendly, even with strangers, but on the contrary, aggressive behavior might be extremely dangerous for kids and humans. This breed does very well in performance events because of its high level of intelligence and its willingness to work. Also, a study released in 1991 found that 94% of the attacks on children by pit bulls were unprovoked. 
You might need to think twice about adopting a pit bull as a pet companion. Granted, though, I've known quite a few good people in my life, so a lot of these studies could also be bogus. Either way, take it with a grain of salt. Number one. The Jack Russell Terrier, surprisingly. Developed in England some 200 years ago to hunt foxes, the Jack Russell Terrier, also known as the Parson Russell Terrier, is a lively, independent, and clever little dog. Just by looking at it, you wouldn't immediately think that it's gonna bite a chunk off your leg. Until they do. Jack Russell Terriers have recently topped the list of dogs most likely to attack humans. Like every dog, they need proper training and treatment. But training cannot eliminate the hunting instinct from the Jack Russell. This dog instinctively sees the family cat or hamster as prey. In fact, the terriers were found to be more aggressive than other breeds of dogs that are perceived to be aggressive, like pit bulls or bull terriers. Same-sex aggression and aggression towards other breeds of dogs is well documented with this terrier. It is strongly recommended that no more than two Jack Russells ever be permitted to stay together unattended, and they should be of opposite sexes. Jack Russells can become very possessive of their owner or a favorite member of the family, or of what they consider to be their personal property if allowed to do so to the point of showing aggressive protective behavior that must be controlled from an early age. Consider the personality traits of a Jack Russell Terrier as this breed is not for everyone.